So there is 13 months instead of 12 months like we have? No, year. that's something else entirely okay. again. I'm talking about this changes every day. Okay. So for example, today is the day of the panther of the fourth wind. The fourth wind is symbolized by a bird which is called in Cherokee the, uh, the star bird, Noxi, Chisqua Noxi, which is the meadowlark. So it has to do with certain characters of the number four, almost like numerology, certain characters of the meadowlark, and certain characters of the this sign panther okay so that gives the the elder would be told by the day keeper this child has been born on the day of the panther of the fourth wind or the day of the meadowlark panther and from there on the child's name or ceremonial name might be meadowlark panther did they change over time because i know that some different tribes their their name would evolve throughout their life based on things they gave, became known mm -hmm. for special talents they acquired it, it was not unusual in cherokee culture that somebody would have a different name later but usually in Cherokee culture the name you had by between day four and day seventh of life that was your name and that pretty much stayed and that's why at this point a lot of people who are trying to get back in touch with their native side and they never received a native name or a Cherokee name they'll say well I, I want to receive this how do I go about it and I go well you know really when you ask somebody to to do a name giving you're asking them to step in first of all you're saying your parents screwed it up for not having you named and secondly, you are asking somebody to step into a parental role. You're asking them to step into that role and to become your parent. And so then they have the authority to give you a name. Now, are you willing to deal with the implications of that? For everybody, everybody wants these really cool sounding names. Yeah, and I've seen some doozies. I've seen, oh, what? oh my goodness. Pocahontas Shining Moon Everlasting. <laughs> I swear, there was a woman at a powwow handing out those cards with, with that name on it. And I just had to laugh. I, I, every now and then I'll run into a name and I just have to laugh. And then they go to a dictionary and try to translate it in Cherokee without understanding some of the subtler points of the Cherokee language. And they'll just come up with things which make no sense. I'll give you one example. Everybody wants to be, you know, let's say somebody wants to be flying eagle or something. Or the eagle flies or soaring eagle. Or and they'll use a word. They'll look up in the dictionary the word eagle, which is a common word. And then they'll look up the word fly. And they'll put those together. And they don't realize that the word they pick for fly is the insect. And it's, it has nothing to do with the verb to fly. And so what they're really calling themselves is eagle insect or, and a, a hawk, a hawk fly or an eagle fly in Cherokee refers to the parasite that lives on the body of a raptor. And, you know, whenever, as you may know, that whenever um, a, a raptor is killed for ceremonial purposes, that the body cannot be touched for four days because it's staked out with sourwood steaks and the, the uh, parasites have to be given a chance to leave before it can be handled without the human becoming infected. So what they've just called themselves is parasite on the body of an eagle. <laughs> that isn't what they intended, and it's, you know, you can always tell very quickly if somebody got their name out of a dictionary. So the names that will be used out of the calendar are sometimes very subtle. Sometimes it'll be a number, and it'll sound almost like a numeric code, and sometimes it will be um, use the full name of the day sign or a contraction of the name of the day sign, and that name will tend to be used in ceremony so it's almost like whenever you're in prayer it's it's like when you're in the hospital they're constantly asking you your date of birth to make sure you're not delirious you know what's your name yeah what's your date of birth yeah okay fine i can give you some more meds and it's kind of that way. It's like whenever we're identifying ourselves in prayer, very often we're giving our date of birth to make sure, yeah, I'm the so-and-so who was born on this date, okay? So it's uh, it's just one of those, those cultural things that one thing that will happen, for example, is the birds are important, and sometimes the person will be given the name simply of the, the bird, of the wind. And in one case, somebody I know was given the name of the bird, which is usually called in English a snowbird. And a snowbird is a very fearless little critter. It looks like a fat at Sparrow, and it will land right next to a rattlesnake and just look at it like, you're going to do something about it, you know? And it's completely defenseless, but it just it comes in with an alpha attitude, and the rattlesnake usually backs down and just, like, moves off. And then the uh, snowbird will usually jump over and pester it again. So it's, it's like complete, you know, irrational courage. Is that something if you're given that name, and that uh, is the ninth wind? You're saying something. You're saying something significant about what's expected of you. But when you're when you're saying that, you have to say, you know, these people who say, as adults, well, they want Indian names. Well, gee, do you really want to, are you really saying that you're willing to live up to the name that the elder gives you? Because if it says, if it's a name like 
uh, sacrifices himself for the people. Oh, that wasn't the name you wanted. No, you wanted, you know, Raging Panther or something. No, you don't get to pick the name, number one. You were asking for name giving. So you asked for the elders to consider what name you should have and perhaps have it based on the calendar. About how long would that period take, you know, for the uh, the uh, new parents to truly get to know this, this individual enough to provide a name? Well, that's a great question, sir. All I've known of it to go on for several years. It's like, yeah, we're still considering it, yeah. And as you know, um, if you 